a certain number of people are seated at a circular table each person shook hands with persons immediately to the left and right and waved at every other person at the table if there were a total of 208 waves how many handshakes were exchanged so this is a problem of circular arrangement that is best solved by using a, a figure or a diagram that represents the circular arrangement because the, the problem the way to approach the problem then becomes much clearer and it's also easier done that way so let's draw out a circular table so remember there are n persons so let's assume that the n is the total number of persons because we are not given what the total number of persons were at the table but we start with the assumption that there are n persons and then while dealing with circular arrangement it's best to you know just uh, focus on a particular person seated at the table and look from that perspective how the arrangement pans out so in in this case we have you know let's focus on on the green dot so let each dot be one person and let the green dot be you know the person of our focus so the dots that are immediately to either side of the green dot so they are in orange so those represent you know the two persons that the green dot is shaking hands with right because each person shakes hands with persons immediately to the left and right now let us suppose that the other people around the table are represented by these black dots and the green dot basically waves at each of those black dots right because it shook hands with the orange dots and the orange dots are the two dots on either side of it but for the rest of the, all the dots that are there and remember each dot here is is one person the green dot is shaking hands i'm sorry the green dot is waving hands right so shaking hands with the orange dots that are to either side of the green dot and waving at each of those black dots so that begs the question how many waves does the green dot give well he gives one to each of those black dots so to find out how many waves the green dot gives in all you have to basically find out how many black dots are there well we know that there should be n number of dots in total right because each dot represents a person and there are n persons at the table now if we exclude the two orange dots and the green dot itself we are left with n minus three dots right n minus three people because we are excluding those three the the orange dots the two orange dots and, and one green dot right so excluding those there should be n minus three other people which are represented by n minus three dots so this person the person of focus in green dot will basically give n minus three waves because it's giving away one wave you know to to each of those black dots so n minus 3 waves in general for for each person right because just like the green dot we could assume if we, if we you know transfer our focus to any other dot we can pretty much apply the same logic so we can generalize that each person is going to send out n minus three waves so how many persons are there in all well n persons right so what will be the total number of waves n multiplied by n minus three and this is what's given as 208 so n 
multiplied by n minus 3 is 208. And from here on, we just, you know, proceed to solve. This is a quadratic equation. So we solve this and we can easily factorize this one as n minus 16 multiplied by n plus 13 and that equals to zero. So we have basically two roots of this quadratic equation. One is n equal to 16, the other is n equal to minus 13. And we can basically reject the negative root because n is the number of persons, so it can't be a negative number. And now we have to consider, you know, how many handshakes were exchanged. So we now know the number of persons that were seated at the circular table. And we have to find out how many handshakes were exchanged, given that each person shook hands only with persons immediately to the left or right. So, so let's turn our focus once again on the green dot, right? And how many handshakes does the green dot exchange? Well, one for the, the person to the right and one for the person to the left. So two in all. So, so the green dot exchanges two handshakes one each with either orange dot immediately by his side, right? So, two handshakes per person, this is something you can generalize because if we just, you know, change our perspective to any other dot around, we can basically, you know, have the same, same count of handshakes, right? So, two handshakes per person and that will make the total number of handshakes as 2n. But wait a minute. We have to consider here that it takes two to shake hands, right? You can't shake just with one hand, right? You can't shake hands by yourself. So you need another person. You need two persons to make one handshake. And when we are counting, you know, separately for each individual, we are actually double counting the number of handshakes as we, you know, pass around the table and, and, you know, count the number of handshakes. Because we are also counting the handshakes that each person uh, made with his or her neighbor, right, two times. So this number needs to be corrected by dividing by two and then we get the total number of handshakes as n. And we already know n is 16, so total number of handshakes will be 16.